Previously on D. Bulamundi, Total War, the Egyptian Empire had a spectacular turn of events taking many settlements, starting off with Theodos the Conqueror and later on with Leas Maches besieging the Seleucids and surrounding the Seleucid king in the settlement. The siege was successful, killing the Seleucid king and many family members. Later on, just under 14,000 Egyptians under the command of Itrakites retook the rebelled settlement of Boistra. And in the far north, the Thessaly boy took his second settlement. Now, without further ado guys, let's get this episode underway. Okay, so that's done with them. Um, I'm just thinking, should I actually just take this army up and across, yeah, we'll flee this lot back to, actually move them up to the Armenians. Alright, we have a full stack here. Maybe I should just let it rebel. Fuck it. We'll let it rebel and then we'll retake them. We want a high tax rate. We'll stop recruiting them and then we'll just ex, uh, fucking slaughter everyone in there. Because that's one way to do it. I don't really care what people think of me, or other factions rather said, so we'll do that, we'll, put them, we'll stop building from a high tax rate, because we can take them back with full stacks, it's no problem, okay, so I'm just going to save one more time, and uh, let's continue on, hopefully we can have some battles shortly, ah shit, I forgot about that northern village settlement I need to deal with, it shouldn't be too hard to take Hetra. Um, Ash, Ash Am Ashait. Uh, God, that's a bitch of a word to pronounce. Hopefully that rebels this turn. Hopefully these things do rebel this turn. Ah, God damn it! I forgot to look at the. I forgot two things that episode. This not episode. Uh, that turn to check out the Greeks and what their diplomatic information is like. Whether or not they're at war with whatnot. And I can't remember if I mentioned this. Uh. The Seleucids are at war with the Indians, so they're surrounded by two sides. Me attacking from the east, and then them coming from the west, I guess. Should be good. Now, um, in the first couple of episodes of this Deep Lamonti campaign, I didn't show the turns because they took forever. But now that I'm using a recording called, I'm using a program called Audacity, I have to uh, stop and record that if I want to do cuts. So I think it's just much easier going through, and uh, it just saves me chopping and cutting and whatnot. Because it's not actually too bad. I kind of overthought it, like um, the way the mod sub mod is for Westeros. Uh, sorry, Third Age Total, which is absolutely abysmal. <laughs> Okay, we've still got the plague. That's not really too good. We are dominating everything. <laughs> okay, not really too much faction announcements. Construction, good. Okay, I can move the pharaoh. Actually, I might actually get the pharaoh to go straight on and attack this army. Why not? We'll move this back because I don't really want to move these guys out when they have the plague. And I've got this three lot of phalanx kind of Scouting. Is that a princess? There's two. Maybe we can get some map information. Okay. That means they're back. I'm guessing that's become Fedoros. I, I, I assume that's Vassal. Should they become my Vassal? Nah, I'd rather not do that, to be honest. I'd rather have map information, because I want your lands. Ceasefire. <laughs> no, but I will give you a payment. Um, because attacking you has given me a lot of entertainment. So I will give you 2,000 for your map information. Wow, as if they actually accepted that. Oh, so there's a sneaky little settlement there. Okay. Hang on, what? Did I not pick that up? It's a Seleucid settlement. Maybe it rebelled back to the Seleucids, I didn't even realise. God damn it, this Cinema's pissed off as well. Put you back on a high tax rate and take these modern troops out. 
Okay, we're having some problems with the public order, which isn't good. So go, going back onto the Seleucids, they have one, two, three, and they have this settlement all the way over there, three settlements left. Okay, so where our diplomats are, let's get straight and run into it, moving into, I guess, just, I, I'm guessing the Indians are this way. <laughs> And I would imagine, I would imagine that the Parthians are just to the north of them. Um, yeah, we'll move these guys around. Wow, there's a pretty decent fleet there. Uh, there is a mission to attack that rebel settlement. I totally forgot. So we'll move you down through there. Can we actually start moving some of these troops out? Because we do want to get a move on. Okay, they're not really too happy. We'll leave some of the barbarians in there. Does that make the? I think I'll just keep it there for the time being. We'll just recruit a couple more spearmen and whatnot. Okay, this settlement actually didn't rebel, so it actually came out happy. Um, yes. I was thinking, what would be quicker going up through there? Yeah, it'd be quicker going to attack HR. Okay, we'll do that. This settlement's actually gone all right now, so we'll take these troops out here. We'll rally up at Babylon because I do have a general here. And we'll take what troops we can recruit as well. We'll move up and attack the Seleucid city. Because this army here is going to be preoccupied taking them. So, um, before I forget, uh, Greeks, Greeks, where are you? Greeks, they're at war with the Roman Senate. Okay. So, apart from that, they're not at war with anyone. Oh, I have a lot of ships here that we could use for a scout instead of using the other ones. Far out. This looks like it might be a challenge. They have... Whoa. Four full stacks. Athens. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, shit. I think I've extremely underestimated the Greeks. Holy shit. And I'm only going over there with four stacks. You've got to be kidding me. I won't be able to do that with four stacks. That's nearly impossible. But, uh, yeah, I shit. I think I might have to delay attacking the Greeks until I get some alliances with the, Th with the Thracians and whatnot. We will, we will be able to take it if we moved all our armies. But seeing as we're fighting on two fronts at the moment, that might be rather catastrophic. <laughs> I do want to keep rather strong garrisons in Asia Minor because I don't really want to leave them too undefended. So I think we will move these armies to Pergamon. Uh, actually, we could get them to disembark. Uh, yeah, I'd much rather them be in forts along the coast than be in the water, if you know what I mean. And then we can rally back up the fleet into one massive fleet. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't even... Well, we could we could put some of these, even them out within Asia Minor itself. Might help a bit. But then we're going to have to re-move everyone again, so... Well, at least we won't get taxed if we have them in a settlement. Okay, we'll put them... We must put that there because they're in an army. To kind of protect them a bit. Okay. Shit, that's 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 crazy. They have a they have a really strong military. We'll go top five because I would imagine they would be in the top five. So the top five are the Huns, the Greek, yeah, the Greeks far out. Romans, oh no, yeah, go top five, yeah. The Indians are up there. So let's have a look at the where are the Thracians. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thracians. <laughs> you guys have like nothing. Uh, maybe we're better off attacking the Thracians and the Mac and the Mac Macedonians because the Greeks are rather, rather scary. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, these guys are moving there. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna have to attack the the Thracians before anything. Do we have any nearby... Can you make a... What's this? A merchant? Yeah, and we'll send them through the ends, because we might, we might actually be attacking the Thracians instead. I think I've changed my mind on that matter. 
Okay, hopefully these settlements can rebel before the next turn. Um, he's not enraged to take any serious settlements. We'll keep moving everyone across and below. Oh, Arba, uh, Arb, Alabella, Arb, Arbabella, Arbabella. <laughs> Fuck knows. I'm just horrible at pronunciations. Pronunciations, pronouncing shit. Uh. And I know there's a couple of you out there just like, that drives you fucking insane. It drives me insane, but obviously I'm not from the Middle East. Uh, I, I'm not, you know, I, I guess that doesn't really matter, but um, I don't speak Egyptian and whatnot. I don't even know if it's called Egyptian that they speak. I would imagine it's very different in this time period. Yeah. So out of like all the medieval kind of history, I don't really know too much about the Egyptians and whatnot, and the Seleucids war and uh, whatnot. I, I'm a big fan of Rome and the Greeks, and uh, but no, I don't really know too much. Maybe I should start researching, uh, researching, having a look at it. Obviously, Alexa uh, Alexander's Alexandria. I was about to say Alexander's um, thing, like uh, his conquest. I know a little bit about. Okay, I'm surprised that hasn't rebelled yet. But this. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, I beg your pardon. But, ugh. Sorry about that. Nearly burped. Um, the Scythians have been destroyed, and I do believe they're to the north of me. God damn it, Death Stalks the land. Um, okay, that's still not really too happy. And city expands. We have a lot of cities. And oh, looks like they're most of them in Asia Minor. Which is cool. Okay, diplomatic information. The Romans are at, finally at war with the Gauls. The Greeks are at war with the Macedonians. Hmm. That's interesting. I think that's nearly coming in perfect timing, because if they're pushing all their troops north to deal with the Macedonians, maybe we could swing it around down and take some of their settlements. If we could get a, th a foothold in some of their settlements, because I do believe all my pretty much all my armies have siege equipment. Nope, I lied. Only one has, and they have two lots of catapults. We could take Sparta. If we take Corinth and at Corinth and Corinths, I don't know why I said that fucking weirdly. Corinths, uh, we could actually block them to the east. I think we should deal with the Seleucids first, though, before we start making plans in uh, in Greece. Okay, we'll start besieging this summer. That's this is going to be a good fight. But I changed my mind about that uh, comment. There are a lot of cavalry in there. If there was a lot of spearmen, there might be rather even. Okay, this guy doesn't have... Oh, he still has the fucking plague, though. We're still losing troops, so we're going to have to recruit some more. Okay, there's a small Seleucid army here, so we're going to rally out. We'll recruit. Um, we'll leave just some troops in there to keep a garrison. We'll attack them. Um, should I play this? Yeah, why not? We haven't had a uh, a battle at the moment. Uh, I, will, I will do that in a sec. I just want to get besieging in places and whatnot. Uh, I guess we can move these pikes back now. We'll do the cities that rebelled very shortly. There's a lot of stuff we do need to get through. Oh, I had a... Yeah, I'm, I don't actually have any spies, so I'm just kind of using... Diplomats and whatnot, even though they're not very good at scouting, but it's better than nothing, really. Okay, from uh, like I said, I've got guys moving to negotiate trade rights and possible alliance with the Indians, and along with uh, Parthia. Okay. Oh, and there is a mission still to take that settlement. While well, my diplomats moving further across. There's only four troops in there. Okay, so we can kind of leave a lot more troops in here, hopefully. Oh, they're still not really too happy. I 
We have another low tax rate. What's pretty much the culture here, though? It's basically Greek and nomadic. Um, I should recruit more, I guess. <laughs> I don't... Um, they're still not happy. God damn it. Faggots. <laughs> not saying I've got anything wrong with faggots, but... Um, that could have, that could have ended badly, Simpsy. What, what are you talking about, man? Okay, uh, we'll t retake this Armenian settlement. Execute everyone in there, and now we can start moving these armies out. Um, funnily enough, let's move this army north. We'll take out the best troops, because realistically, this army should be up and around here. Actually, might need to. Actually, we've got some spots for this army. We might need to retake that settlement again. Okay, we've got. What's the space going up to the Seleucids? Oh, yes! I was making an army at Babylon, and, uh, the Babylon area. Okay, let's do that now then. Rally up. We have a fair few more spots left, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five spots left. Okay, this army's going to aid retaking this rebel settlement. I'm really surprised that we haven't had that settlement rebel. We've got this army waiting here. Okay, uh, we do have that battle to play. I do need, I do remember that. So let's go on to the Greeks. Fire, we've got some shit to do. I didn't think we had this much stuff to do. This episode's probably going to go a little bit longer. Uh, we haven't had a battle in a while. Actually, I've changed my mind about attacking the Greeks. Uh, this turn, that is. I think we should wait. Um, can I move troops to this? Yes, I sure as hell can. Okay, well I'm going to move pretty much all this army to this settlement here. Because we can put the full stack. Yeah. Perfect. Move all the other lot of ships into one fleet. Holy shit. That is a mega awesome fleet, that is. Mega awesome. What a... What a, <laughs> what a bad phrase that was. Because, yeah, he's not really loyal, is he? So we probably shouldn't have him in a fort. Put you in the fort, put them there. Because you actually don't get taxed within a city. Oh, there go the commands. Okay, let's play this battle then. I'll wait. I'm going to wait on the... Uh, did I just say this? I did. Um, what do they got here? they got some alright spear troops. But apart from that, basically cavalry. This will be a fun battle. It's 5 to 2 ratio, Theodos the Conqueror, the Conqueror of Babylon itself, and most of the Seleucid Empire. So yeah, I think, basically why I'm not going to attack the Greeks, because from the troops we're sending over there, we don't really have enough. And uh, even though they've just attacked the Macedonians, it's still going to take a couple of turns for them to push up through the north and maybe take some of their settlements, leaving their uh, lower settlements vulnerable. So maybe they could fight each other, take some troops out before I sweep in for the kill. Okay. Uh, we'll put... Yes, we'll put them on the phalanx, on the side. Uh, we'll put the... the Poltimic... Spearman. I don't, I don't know why it says Spearman. Because, no, they're technically hoplites, but... Whatever floats your boat, really. I don't really care. Yeah, this actually put this, these guys... on the centre. Now put these, the spearmen, on the flanks, just in case their cavalry does charge. Archers there. General and catapults. Let's do it. Now, where the fuck is their army? I think just grip this. Because we're going to have to do one hell of a swing around. So I don't really know what they're doing. We'll keep everyone in their same formation. I might need to face these spearmen further across just in case they do move their cavalry and move these archers just a bit wayward. 
A phalanx should be able to deal with their cavalry, but cavalry skirmish is a bloody annoying. Are they going to go for it? They are too. Holy shit, put everyone on the defensive guard mode. Phalanx. Oh, or maybe not. They're not going to charge. They're just going to throw spears at me. Phalanx down. Fuck, that looks awesome. Come on. I, I dare you. Take a charge. There's no point in chasing after them. Oh, man. A lot of spears are going here. Okay, I'm going to go for a bit of a, a flanking move. I'm going to pull my archers there. Catapults fire. And we're going to make a... No, I think I think we should just wait. They're, they're attacking us. We're, uh, we attack them, but they're actually attacking us. So we might as well just keep it in that. Are they moving? I, I, I could swing around and attack, but I think... I could make... I'm gonna move the front line though. I'm gonna move them up. Get these lot to just march, really. No, I don't think there's really need for any tactics apart from actually we'll get these guys to take all their cavalry out. Okay, yeah, fuck it. Pull this lot of archers back. Charge. Keep the other line in reserve to protect the archers. I guess we can get our catapults to halt because we're gonna get a shit ton of friendly fire I, i'm hoping we just killed the enemy general <laughs> yeah because that looked really scarily close okay, i'm gonna have to take them off phalanx because they're gonna get slaughtered running after the spear cavalry now oh, sorry skirmish cavalry so we'll just make a charge But we will get my general's bodyguard to charge at them. Forward! Okay, we're basically chasing them off now. I've lost 5%, that's not really too good. I know chasing after Arch is kind of fruitless, but I do want to quickly get rid of these guys. Okay, they're broken as it is. Let's get our general to run down the rest of them. Anyway, we won the battle. I'm going to edit here. We lost 148 men. I was trying to figure out uh, whether or not to use spearmen to use their actual spears or throw, but it didn't really matter at the end. That was kind of a fun battle. Uh, even though they kind of just ran straight into my phalanx. <laughs> but nevertheless, we only lost 148 then to their 617. They're the results if you'd like to have a look at them. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, um... I was about to read this quote before I talk about the Greeks. The Spartans do not ask how many, but where they are. That's kind of cool. Uh, I guess we're kind of re replicating 300 <laughs> attacking Sparta, but, um... I'm attacking near Sparta. So yeah, I think I want to wait, wait at least probably no more than five turns for them to attack the Macedonians. But the only problem is if I wait too long, they will take the Macedonian lands and they will have the power of Macedon with them as well, which is not really too good. Um, uh, I will release. Um, okay, man of the hour. Uh, I don't really want to dodge you through this. Aren't you a part of the family anyway? No, that's Itrakites, sorry. Okay. Doesn't really matter regardless. Okay, we finished off that smaller army. We'll move this up. Um, ooh. 
That'll be an interesting battle to play. Okay, we have a battle here to do in the next turn. We've got diplomats moving. Uh, yes, diplomats moving to India. We've got two troops moving to Hetra. We've got an army here, which once we take this, once this settlement rebels, we'll move on Tanius. And we have most of our armies in Asia Minor ready to move on the Spartans, uh, the, the Greek city states. Um, I actually probably should. I did have diplomats in the area. Actually, I think I just might keep one diplomat to the Seleucids just in case I need to negotiate with them. I had. Uh, where were the diplomats in. Hang on, didn't we have diplomats in. Yes. Thrace. So we do need to negotiate with them to get some trade rights, maybe. Actually, see if we can actually bribe this settlement before I end it. Okay, well, okay. thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really do appreciate it if you watch watched it all the way through. It does really mean a lot to me. So without further ado, guys, this has been Simpsy. I'm out. Ladies, my friends, hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.